Good afternoon, Blossom. Uh, good afternoon, viewers. It's nice to be here. Nice to have you too. You know, I was saying I was going to pop champagne. <laughs> no, I've been coming early these days. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yes. I will pop champagne. I told you now. Yes. Nobody can, nobody can spoil my cheese. This. Mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> Yes, while we discuss politics, we'll try to you know step it down a little bit so that you know it's not so hot enough. Okay, uh, first I saw during that was last week. I saw this and I was like, okay, I'm going to discuss this, and that is because of the fuel hike. I saw a trending video of a commercial tricycle and angry residents in Worry stage protest over the recent hike. Now, some residents in Worry and Eforo Metropolis in Delta State uh, took to the streets to protest the recent fuel pump price. Hundreds of market women and keke riders carrying different placards marched through the streets calling on the president uh, to urgently intervene and reverse the fuel uh, high price hike. Some of the placards displayed um, intervene now to alleviate commuters uh, suffering, uh, activates worry and Kaduna refineries without further delay. The protesters blocked some major roads as they registered their pleasure. And some fl uh, placards also state, we are suffering in silence, the fuel hike is a killer. While some of the fuel filling stations in the area have been shut down, the few ones that were opened were selling above 1,000 naira per litre. So let's go watch the video where we had um, commercial tricycles and um, angry residents in Warrior State protests over the recent fuel hike. We'll be right back. So this one around the uh, before West Marine Gate, down to to Deco Junction, you can see how human beings they cooperate. Uh -huh. So my bottom line of doing this video is for us to be united as well. Make we unite as well so that we can achieve our aims. This will not be evil say na 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 their own this or evil people will get their own motto. See exactly what is happening. You can see the unity. You can see the unity. Evil person when he gets car that they reverse her back. Look at this man here now. Look at this man. Let me stop and I see this man. Now I see that they tell her to go back to where for the road. They block everywhere. Deco Road, Alsa Quarter, everywhere is being blocked right now. I agree they are. Welcome back. Uh, Chief Godley, now you can see that a lot of people are angry. And according to that video, um, <laughs> <laughs> that was the day the price was actually increased. Please. And yes, and they had to immediately, that same day, mm. they had to go for that protest. So I just want to ask is protest actually the way? And you know, we're saying something, and you said something even last week that this few rights cannot actually be reduced. A process is a sign of dissatisfaction. All right, it may not in this climb in Nigeria it may not actually solve the problem. a problem, but I think it's an expression of uh, uh, dissatisfaction, it's an expression of anger, the expression that things are not working the way mm -hmm. it should work. All right, you could imagine uh, what would have happened if tomorrow is an election in Nigeria, what would have happened to the current leadership of this country from local government to state to to federal. So um, people are very angry. And like I listened to a radio station, the TV station this morning, a certain Ruben Abati, a media icon said that this thing has gone beyond food, hunger. Mm -hmm. It's no longer hunger. There's, there is pervasive hardship in the land. Serious hardship. Now, he, 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 he has cascaded to the money in your pocket that you have 100,000 and that money will be wiped out the moment you take 1,000 and you don't know what to spend it on. 
So people are angry. That the whether the 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 protest by the people of Delta State would actually make any significant uh, 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 input in their standard of living is left to be seen. But you know, when people continue to protest, if you have if you are the leader of a government and you have your citizens protesting, calling on you to do something, that means something is not right. Yeah. So um, when you look at it, uh, uh, you know, before the NMPC eventually increase their price at their stations, I have been buying at above that I have said there. Yeah, I have put it on my social media handle. Every time I go to buy fuel, some have bought for 950. I will snap the, I will take a picture of the of the, of the meter. Yeah to show it. So I've been buying. So it, it was like a relief for me that eventually all of us can buy at the same price. Because I, I didn't see myself um, sacrificing time to go queue. Like a friend of mine told me, if you want to buy at NMPC filling station, you must take a smaller car, go there in the night park, leave the car there, leave your home by 4 o'clock, Come then they were selling at 568. Mm -hmm. Then come and queue. That's where you can buy. And I said, look, if for what I have I have got in my pocket to buy this for ten thousand naira, does this does he watch it? Hmm. My car is it's safe. It's not safe. And I am I'm early. going to very early. It's not, not resting. Mm -hmm. Then how many minutes, how many hours will I drive ten thousand naira fuel mm -hmm. at five hundred and sixty eight as at that time for me not to come back? So I just felt okay. Let me just walk in and buy ten liters for thousand. Wherever I think I need to go, I must now begin to plan my movements mm. appropriately. appropriately. So in the end, you ask yourself: even for now, across in Sokoto, in Akwaibom states where they have this country in Delta State, they were buying the fuel above the normal uh, uh, NMPC rates. They've been buying in my place. They've been buying one thousand dollar per liter sinks. Now we are talking about buying it at nine hundred. The place I used to buy nine twenty now has moved its own to one thousand. Hmm. All right, has moved its own to one thousand. So people in my place have been buying one two. Yes, one two one five. One thousand one thousand two hundred per liter. So how do we live in the same country and we have different price? disparity people who are living in lagos who do not have crude are now enjoying the benefit of crude than those who live in aquaibon state where they extract this crude hmm. so what is education so all of this is about maladministration people unable to do what they were appointed or elected to do hmm. all right so to today, this is the first time in the history of this country that we have fuel scarcity that took so long, even an NPC couldn't release statement. They don't know what the problem was. Mm -hmm. Or they pretended to know what the problem they, they pretended that they don't understand the problem. We are waiting for a, for a now we are now answer. we are now putting our hopes, the renew hope on Dangote status. Has not been ascertained how much is going to sell it's going to sell how much is going to sell to people in lagos how much will they take the dangote or on in a viable state how much is it going to go for hmm. even from nmpc nmpc is still yet to confirm that from dangote how much they are the price the negotiation is still on and i think with the way it's going uh, over the weekend I learned it actually that, beats me <laughs> it actually beats me that the previous administration of uh, President Mohamed Obuare listed PIA as one of the achievements for the oil industry. And I don't see how the PIA has helped the deregulations or proper management of our crude and everything that comes with it. So it is not just to take in a piece of legislation to the National Assembly and sign into law is actually the political way to get this thing done in a way that your own people will benefit from it.
You know what I was talking about this just this morning, and for me, what was that um, uh, the the VAT has also been increased. And when I heard that, I was like, okay, what's it going to be? Seven point five percent is now confirmed. Seven point five. It has always been seven point five. So whatever they want to do, so where have you been? The fact has been increased from 5% to 7.5 since three years ago, or is it four years ago? So whatever looking at is 10%. Wow. I, mean, I don't think he has taken effect. I think, not taking effect. And I so think uh, the, that document is with the president, and I, I don't think he has, he has uh, he's received president so assent. Do, do you think they're going to actually make that happen? The 10%. There is nothing this government that put his mind on that will never make up. At the end of the day, like we said, it's only the, this is the only country in the world that will go on protest. And not to, the following day, when you end the protest, things became worse. My thought is, help, Listen, help me feel this. If they actually make it 10%, mm -hmm. what, happens to, what happens to Nigerians but, at that point? Eh, if people say, you know, our leaders, our political appointees are very quick. Are telling you that you pay the least VAT in Africa, you bought the most affordable, the, the cheap fuel in Africa. Hmm. Now, when they are putting all of these cheap, cheap things that we are got getting, they don't say that what those people get the housing, the quality education, hmm. Hmm? a good standard of living, the job that they get. They don't put it and say Nigerians get as equal as them. Hmm. All right now we have like the small light that we have here the discos want to kill us they want to kill us and they are still planning to increase increase the tariff yes so at the end of the day they will tell you oh what are you talking about go to ghana ghana is paying 12.5 uh, go to uk uk is paying this but what the, their government the government of these people are doing for their own citizens you your own government is not doing now they are now looking at the area that they are benefit that your own people are not benefiting there is no government in the world that does not subsidize one thing or the other for their citizens the betterment of their citizens <sighs> very true